guys welcome back to my channel so today I created this look here it's very fun it's very spring inspired and I really like how it turned out I'm not sure how I feel about the inner corner highlight but let me know in the comments below if you like that I did break down and I purchased three of the Kathleen lights and ColourPop collab loose pigments these are from the zodiac collection I didn't think I was gonna get any of them and here I am with three of them and I used two of them to create this look so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look then you are in the right place at the right time be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started so we're gonna just jump in and get started I'm filming really late today and I want to try to get two videos done so let's just do this I have not filmed in oh my god weeks so let's just jump into it. I'm gonna first start off by priming my face. Today I'm going in with the Body Shop. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer Primer. So I'm gonna take a generous amount of that and press that into the skin. For foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation and I picked up the color 405 and I'm going to dot that all over my face and then I am going to go in and buff that in with a brush to start and I'm going to be going in with the Japanesque Kabuki brush. <laughs> Concealer. Of course, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Teeth Concealer in the color light, and I'm going to blend that out with a dampened beauty blender. And to set down the concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Hourglass. This is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just starting to try this out. It does have a very sheeny look to it, so I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. But I am going to just apply that using the Real Techniques 300 powder brush. And I'm going to buff out the creases too. And then I'm going to just apply that under my eye and on my eyelid to set all of that concealer down. And then to set down the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. And I'm gonna take my Dampen Beauty Blender and I'm just going to press that into the product and then press it into my face. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the outside of my face and to do so I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs this is the Omega bronzer the lighter version in Tantastic again a product I'm just starting to try out but so far I have been liking it <laughs> Then for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Lancome. This is the Sheer Amorose Oil-Free Blush. And I'm going in with a Luxie brush. This is the Luxie 516 Duo Fiber Powder Brush to apply that. I applied the bronzer with a BH Cosmetics Angled Blush Brush. <laughs> I'm going to hop off camera and I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Brow Boss and this is in the shade Light Brown. So I will be right back. All right, so the eyebrows are done. Thank goodness for eyebrow pencil because I literally shaved the front part of this brow off today. I know that's literally everybody's worst nightmare and I managed to do it, so. 
Cool. Rather me do it than you. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the eyes. Today I have a look in mind. It's sort of a spring inspired look. And I did pick up three of the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Zodiac Loose Pigments. I picked up the Fish, the Crab, and the maiden. I did not buy all of them. I didn't even buy my own sign. I am a Gemini. And I kind of want this star of the show to be the crab, which is this really pretty lavender purple shade. I might incorporate a little bit of the maiden. I'm not sure yet. Sort of depends how the look goes. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to go ahead and get started with the eyes. Okay, so now that we are up close and personal, hopefully you can't tell that I uh, shaved off half my eyebrow. I'm planning on using two palettes. I'm not anticipating to do like a super crazy look. I really just want to incorporate the pigments. I also want to do a pop of like a yellowy green. I'm going to be using, I think, both the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette and the Norvina Palette. Use what you have at home if you are following along. I'm sure you're not because I don't do that, so I don't know that other people do that. So I'm first going to go in with the Norvina Palette. I am going to dust the color Soul, which is this lavender shade here, all over the crease as a transition shade. Next, I'm going in with a Real Techniques brush. This is the base shadow brush and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the color love which is this pink shade in the palette and I'm gonna dust that right at the edge of the soul color Then going back in with the, oh, I didn't tell you what this is, but it's my Sedona Lace EB13 brush. I'm going back in with that, not adding any extra product or anything. I'm just sort of buffing the two colors together. And I really think I actually want Soul to be like the star of the show. So I'm gonna go back into that color and I'm gonna just really pack that onto the outer V as well. <laughs> Then to bring down some of the shadow just a little bit, I'm gonna go in with a shader brush. This is the, you know, this is a French name. I have no idea, but it's just a regular shader brush. I'm gonna go in with the color base from this palette, and I'm gonna just apply that by the upper brow bone and bring that down into the color Love and Soul just a hair. And this is just really gonna lower some of the shadow so we have some space up there. I'm just going in with some concealer on the back of my hand and a flat concealer brush. This is the BH number no. nine concealer brush from the Pink Handled Collection, and I'm gonna cut out half my crease. <laughs> And I'm gonna take my pinky and sort of diffuse out the, well, I'm gonna take my middle finger and sort of diffuse out the concealer there at the end. And then I'm gonna go in with the color The Crab and I'm gonna apply that on the end into the inner corner and see how I like that. And to do so, I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics. This is an angled concealer brush. that is like oh my god I love it it's so pretty oh wow I'm impressed I'm gonna take a little bit on the brush and I'm gonna spray it with some of the morphe continuous setting spray just to see if we can intensify it some more because I love it so much And then to sort of blend where the cut crease ends into that soul color, I'm gonna just go back into soul from the palette, from the Norvina palette, and sort of tap that onto the very edge gently, sort of blend everything together. All right, I'm gonna go in and do the same thing on the other eye, and then we'll see what else we wanna do.
I think I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of the Maiden in the very inner corner just to provide some highlight. I'm going to actually use a little bit of a glitter glue to really bring out the intensity of how bright and vibrant this white is. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and I'm going to take but the smallest amount of this and sort of tap that on the inner corner and then I'm going to pop on that color and to apply that color I'm actually going to go in with another BH Cosmetics brush but this is a very short and very thin and flat concealer brush. It's very little. That just sort of brightened the inner corner up a little bit. This looks so pretty and it's literally not a lot of shadow at all. So I love it. All right, so now that that's on there, I am gonna go ahead and smoke out the lower lash line and I'm really interested in actually incorporating this really bright neon yellowy color in the very inner corner. So I wanna try to do that to make it look really springy. But first, let's smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm going in with the Norvina palette again and I'm just going in with the Morphe M506 brush. It's a small tapered blending brush. I'm gonna swipe that color sole on the lower lash line. I totally forgot, but I'm actually gonna add a little bit in my waterline, a little bit of liner. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Crayon in Mist Me. It's a beautiful lavender shade. I use it quite frequently on my channel, so I'm gonna just apply that in the waterline. <laughs> And then I'm gonna bring the look together by adding a little bit of the crab on the lower lash line. I'm just trying to think how I wanna try to get such good pigmentation. I'm gonna go in with this really short BH Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna take the color on this brush, spritz it with some of the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and then just sort of pack it on. then smoke everything together with Soul. I'm gonna go ahead then and apply that yellow color from the Prism palette in the very inner corner. This particular color is called Sphere, and I really want this color to pop in the inner corner. So I am gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of a white eyeliner. This is the Clean Color Kajal Eyeliner. This is actually from Shop Miss A. This is just a big jumbo white eyeliner. So I'm gonna take some of that on a very small brush. This is the Luxie 141 Mini Round Brush. So I'm gonna sort of take some of that eyeliner on this brush and I'm gonna pop that on the very inner corner. So we have something that's kind of uh, moist, I guess, on the very inner corner. And then I'm gonna take the, this is the Luxie Mini Flat Angled Brush and I'm gonna dip into that color sphere and pop that on the very inner corner of the eye. So not sure how I feel about the electric, but I think mascara is gonna throw everything together. So I am gonna go ahead, mm, do I wanna do a wing? While I'm deciding if I wanna do a wing, I am gonna go ahead and tight line with the Clinique Quick Liner for Intense Eyes in a Tense Black. Yeah, I am gonna go ahead and do a winged eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in the color Trooper. Go ahead and coat my lashes and I'm gonna go in with the I want to use this I have a new one that I think I'm gonna try this is the Ico London lash alert mascara wake up and go I have a sample of this I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my lashes <music> So 
I'm not sure if I love this mascara. I think this look would look superb with falsies, but I do not like falsies. I am certainly not throwing them on this Sunday night, so I'm not putting falsies on. I think the eye look is pretty much done. I want to like the yellow that I put in the inner corner, but I'm not so sure I do. So let me know what your thoughts are on it. Um, I do feel like we need some upper brow bone highlight. So I am going to pop on from the ColourPop Dream Street palette uh, collab this color Mooney. I'm just gonna stick that on as an upper brow bone highlight. Give some sheen. And then for lips, Oh, let me do highlight. I'm going to zoom you guys back out, actually. Okay, so now that you're zoomed back out, I am going to throw on some highlight. For highlight today, I feel it's only appropriate that we go in the with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. And I am going to go ahead and throw this color here right in the middle. This is the color Luna. And I'm going to just take a fan brush. This is the Morphe M310 brush. And I'm going to apply a little bit of that color on there and pop that on. Also go going to throw on a little bit of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Powder Illuminator in Blossom Glow, which I just feel like would go with this look really good. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on as well. For lips, I think I'm going to pop on, this is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in I'm Nude. I am gonna go ahead and throw on some of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to melt together all of the powders that are on my face. So that completes this video. I really like how this turned out. I'm not sure about the highlight in the inner corner of yellow, but I wanted something that was spring and fun and fresh. I'm actually filming this on daylight savings day, so we just sprung forward and lost an hour of sleep, so I thought I would get in the spring mood. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time with another new video. Bye guys! Bye.